the ANC economic transformation head, Mamoloko rather, Kubai, announced plans to broaden the zero-rated bad food basket to support vulnerable households. This was revealed during a media briefing held on the 26th of October amid discussions on economic challenges and the high cost of living. Meanwhile, advocacy groups have urged for 44 food items to be zero-rated as the current food basket cost over 5,000 rand, straining low-income families. In addition, Kubai reaffirmed the government's commitment to alleviating financial pressures on South Africans ahead of the up-and-coming medium-term budget policy statement. Let's listen in on the insights from the briefings. The government is clear that taming inflation, particularly in essential food prices, is paramount for stability and rebuilding the public's faith in our collective future. Under the ANC leadership, our focus on sound fiscal policy has bolstered the rent, stabilizing prices on consumer goods and reducing import costs. This is about more than economics. It's about real relief for South Africans, making life more affordable for ordinary citizens and businesses. We are unwavering in our resolve to maintain a strong currency, shield our people from unchecked inflation, and make tangible differences in their financial well-being. Our stance is clear as we continue, and there are various areas that initiatives that will count in terms of ensuring that we continue the work of reducing the cost of living. Another area that we've paid attention to and continues, and we hope we're looking at ensuring that this is concluded, is around fuel prices. Through our intervention on fuel prices, particularly by suspending increases to the general fuel levy and the RAF levy. The NC-led government has directly benefited, has ensured that consumers can be able to benefit out of this. Our objective is a bold reduction of fuel cost by 30%, lowering the cost of transportation for everyday South Africans and bringing relief to the economy at large. The step aligns with our broader strategy to protect South Africans from cost of living pressures and inject stability into commuting, logistics and food prices. Another area as we talk about fuel prices, and I must just highlight there, is that work continues between the deployees and the in government to ensure that this is also sustainable and realized. And we'd understand as we refer to the issue of recomposition of that fuel levy and ensuring that we can be able to relieve South Africans of that pressure.